Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cowboy Roundup, Zeke Breaks Down RB Room, Sunday Ticket Verdict Tossed. Happy Friday, Cowboys Nation. We've made it through another week and after the Dallas Cowboys had a mock game walkthrough on Thursday, they're back on Friday morning with an open practice to kick off week two of training camp in Oxnard. While we gear up for another day, let's take a look at some of the headlines that are making the rounds. Ezekiel Elliott provided a scouting report for every running back on the Cowboys roster as the team looks to determine who will be part of the running back by committee for the upcoming season. The NFL scored a victory in court after a judge overturned the $4.7 billion verdict against the league in the Sunday ticket antitrust class action lawsuit. The NFL is undefeated. NFL expert gives latest Dak Prescott, Cowboys contract drama. Demarcus Lawrence definitely sees Dallas Cowboys winning Super Bowl. Micah Parsons addresses scrutiny, emphasizes winning culture. Cowboys sign Micah Parsons' college teammate for additional DE depth. Cowboys OC optimistic about Trey Lance's progress despite growing pains. Demarcus Lawrence praises new Cowboys defensive coordinator Mike Zimmer. Cowboys predicted to miss the playoffs in 2024 by NFL expert, Cowboys secondary has surprised breakout player in week one of training camp. Cowboys wave rookie wide receiver to make room for newly signed DEs. Cowboys news, Micah Parsons talks his role on defense, the loss of Sam Williams. Micah Parsons discusses Mike Zimmer's plans and the loss of Sam Williams. Mike Zimmer's plan for him in 2024, I think it's going to be a very interesting year. What I'm going to be doing is a whole bunch of stuff, dropping in the flats, curls, it's really everything. They're expanding my versatility and using me in ways I should be used, and moving me around to make, offenses, ID me from other places, and, sending, me when they should send me. He's going to utilize every asset of my ability, and that's something I appreciate. That's the plan, so I focused on trying to be in better shape and trying to be better now knowing what the standard is and what he's going to have me doing. I really like it a lot, and it's going to be a really good year for me. They're moving me around and bringing pressure from other places. Does the loss of Sam Williams alter that plan? It doesn't change my plan at all. It means Marshawn and more young guys have to step up, and whoever we bring in. It may mean I have to do more. The loss of Sam was so huge. That's really like my brother. It really hurts. Those times where I might get a break or a substitution, I might have to stay on for a couple more plays, depending on the situation. It really ramps up with conditioning and what phase we have to be in for these games. It puts more on, Demarcus Lawrence also. He's an 11-year vet and there's no more Dorrance Armstrong or Dante Fowler, so he'll step up, too. The team brought in some reinforcements after Sam Williams' injury. The Dallas Cowboys have added to their defensive line. While seeking reinforcements up front with Sam Williams out for the season with a torn ACL and MCL, the Cowboys signed free agent El Quadin Muhammad, one of multiple players the team worked out in Frisco on Thursday, a person with knowledge of the situation told the Dallas Morning News. They have also signed Shaka Tony from the Washington Commanders, according to the Athletics' Ben Standig. Muhammad, a sixth-round draft pick of New Orleans in 2017, had been with the Indianapolis Colts for two different stints. Indy claimed him off waivers in 2018, watched him to develop into a 17-game starter in 2022. Following that season, he followed his former defensive coordinator, Matt Eberfluss, to Chicago, where he played last year. After the Bears released Muhammad in February, Indy brought him back. However, he was suspended in early December for six games for violating the league's performance-enhancing substance policy. Though he only served five of those games before the end of the Colts' regular season, he will be eligible to play in the Cowboys' 2024 season opener after being reinstated in January. Dak Prescott on potentially leaving Cowboys, if something like that happens, I'll certainly be ready for it. 
You may not know it from the narrative surrounding Dak Prescott, but he is coming off a career year for the Dallas Cowboys. Prescott finished the 2023 regular season first in touchdown passes and second in MVP voting. Heading into his ninth year in the NFL, the Cowboys quarterback knows he has room to grow. The experience that I've had, the confidence that I have in myself. This team, the knowledge has grown. I'm at my best and only getting better, Prescott said on Thursday. The Cowboys quarterback says he's been focused on improving this offseason. He credits his consistent work and drive to get better. October 6, Dak Prescott No. 4 of the Dallas Cowboys runs the ball and is hit by Jer Alexander No. 23 of the Green Bay Packers at at and Amp, T Stadium on October 6, 2019 in Arlington, Texas. The Packers defeated the Cowboys 34-24. Photo B, I don't know where the peak is. I'm always trying to push the envelope. I'm always trying to get better in every aspect of this game. I feel like there is tons of room for me to improve, Prescott said. With 4,700 yards this season, Dak would surpass both Tony Romo and Troy Aikman to be the Cowboys' all-time leading passer. But Prescott's story has been highlighted by his team's failures in the postseason. He has a 2-5 record in the playoffs, including last year's embarrassing loss to the Green Bay Packers. Dak is going into the 2024 season in the last year of his four-year, $160 million deal. If you've seen Dak Prescott wear a suit for the last seven years, chances are it was designed by former accountant-turned-custom menswear designer Tom Marcatelli. Both Prescott and Jerry Jones have said they want a deal to get done, but the final deal has not come together. Dak says it's not something that's on his mind. I've got a ton of confidence, but honestly, it's not something I think about. I'm here in training camp and focused on this year. I'm on a contract for this year and that's all I really care about, he said. Prescott surprised some reporters by openly hinting at the possibility of playing elsewhere during a recent press conference. The quarterback says the birth of his new baby girl, MJ, has him thinking a bit differently these days. Having a kid, your perspective changes a little bit in life, Prescott said. A lot of quarterbacks have played for other teams. That's just the business and nature of this game. That's just me not being naive to that. Cowboys QB Dak Prescott says a recent photo of him in a walking boot is nothing to be concerned about. While Dak is interested in staying in Dallas, he made it clear he isn't ruling out a departure from the team that drafted him. It's not something I look for, or prepare, even plan for, but if something like that happens, I'll certainly be ready for it, he said. Prescott celebrated his 31st birthday earlier this week. We asked him if Jerry Jones gave him a gift this year. I don't think so, Dak said with a smile. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Dak Prescott? Leave your opinion in the comments.